After surgery on the brain tumour behind my left eye, there was good news and bad news. The good news was the depression symptoms it had caused were gone immediately. But the bad, a remnant of the tumour, was still in there and they couldn't operate again and the tumour was wrapped around a blood vessel. Chemotherapy would have destroyed much more than the tumour and conventional X-ray irradiation could have hit the optic nerve. My doctors suggested proton irradiation at the Paul Shearer Institute. The Paul Scherer Institute is the largest research institute for natural and engineering sciences in Switzerland and is part of the ETH domain. It operates one of the few facilities in Europe that treat tumours with protons. The patient was classified as eligible for proton therapy. This assessment was made by the responsible tumour board, a group of doctors and medical physicists. I agreed right away. People were coming from other countries, far and wide, and I was glad that I got in. In the introduction at PSI, everything was explained to me. How the therapy works, how long it takes, and the risks. The proton therapy developed at PSI differs from conventional X-ray therapy, mainly in that it hits the tumour very precisely and protects the surrounding tissue as much as possible. This makes it particularly suitable for tumours located near sensitive organs, for example, tumours in the head or on the spinal column. The protons are highly accelerated and the proton beam is then concentrated and guided so that it releases its maximum energy only inside the tumour. Then came two days of preparation. There it was mostly about making a bite block and a cushion that fit my head exactly, so as to steady my head so the beams would hit the tumour with millimetre accuracy. With the help of computer tomography and magnetic resonance imaging, the doctor can determine exactly where the tumour is. The therapy plan is then prepared in cooperation with colleagues in medical physics and the dose allocation is specified. Just where and how much radiation will be allowed to hit and where organs that need to be protected are, also allowing for a safety space around the tumour. In this way, we make sure it will hit all of the tumour cells. When you arrive at PSI every morning for treatment, it doesn't feel at all like coming into a hospital. The therapy for my tumour consisted of 28 irradiations of 40 minutes each, five times per week, over a period of six weeks. One thing I noticed is that PSI treats a lot of children. This treatment is especially helpful for children. Because they are still growing, conventional irradiation is associated with major side effects. The accuracy of proton therapy, in contrast, brings fewer long-term complications. The important thing in this therapy is the positioning. You really have to lie correctly or the radiation will hit off target. That is checked again and again by CT and the therapy was absolutely pain-free. The time passed quickly. I was allowed to listen to music. I couldn't speak and you are alone in the room because of the radiation. But you're under constant observation with cameras and if something comes up, you can just give a hand signal. Naturally, the machine seems like a monster in the beginning, very imposing. I remember it made funny noises, like a departing suburban train. The therapy went perfectly. Yes, there were risks, which were explained to me up front and in detail. For example, I could have gotten headaches from the irradiation or excessive fatigue. I was lucky though, all I had was hair loss. I had been warned about that in advance, but the hair grew back relatively quickly after about three months.
After these 28 treatment sessions, I didn't know whether the therapy would be effective or not. But with the follow-up exam three months later, we found out. The tumour is still exactly the same size, but it's dead and it's not growing anymore. That was a big relief. Additional checkups followed every three months. They were always good. And now it's half a year before I have to go back again. I had 100% confidence in PSI because of the technology, but also thanks to the people. They were very empathetic and professional. No matter who I was in contact with, from the secretaries to the radiology assistants and, of course, to the doctors. The Paul Scherer Institute is a leader in proton therapy and also in treating tumours of the eye. There is no other institution worldwide where so many ocular tumours have been treated. The irradiation takes only four days and in 90% of cases the patient's eye can be saved. Our researchers are tireless in developing further, still more advanced therapy options. For the team at the Center for Proton Therapy, it is an honor to be at the service of all our past and future patients. <laughs>